In order to inspect Firestop systems, they must not be concealed from view before being inspected and improved. Walkthrough visual inspection should be made during installation as required. However, deconstructive testing may be necessary to evaluate certain types of Firestop systems after they have been installed. Making sure you have the right tools can make inspecting a whole lot easier. A sharp knife, a flashlight, a high resolution camera, a tape measure, calipers, and safety PPE should all be a part of your basic equipment package. And a Firestop locator software package that allows you to track Firestop installations can also be a big help to you. Often due to sequencing on construction projects, deconstructive testing is the only viable option. ASTM E2174 and ASTM E2393 each include sampling options that allow the alternatives of witness installation of the Firestop systems or rather deconstructive testing of previously installed Firestop systems. First, multiple locations shall be measured within a given application to provide evidence of compliance. For verification of sealant depth, measurements shall be made at all points of adhesion rather than towards the center of the seal. For systems incorporating integral packing or forming materials, verify the proper type, density, compression, orientation of fiber, and depth. It's important to note that when there are point contact in systems that require backing material, it may not be feasible to install it. Instead, you'll want to check to ensure that there's a good bond by simply pushing on the seal with your finger. And of course, double check that the fire stop system allows for point contact. For sealants or coatings applied in joint systems and perimeter fire barrier systems, take measurements within a 12 inch sample for every 500 linear feet. Within the 12 inch sample section, measure the thickness in eight places. Measure the points of adhesion on the end of each sample and also on four inch centers in fluted deck scenarios. For sealants or coatings applied in penetration fire stop systems with penetrating items greater than six inches in diameter, you'll be cutting the installed system into four sections. When the item is between two and six inches, cut it into three sections. And when it's less than two inches, cut two sections. And finally, always check with the manufacturer for recommended patch repairing techniques.